For more on the Jackson Hole Symposium, we're joined by William Black. He's an Associate Economics and Law Professor at the University of Missouri, Kansas City. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. 100 economists, Fed officials, central bankers, they're all gathering in Jackson Hole. But how significant is this event in actually shaping U.S. economic and fiscal policies? It's important not just in shaping U.S. policies, but global policies. Many of the people there are central bankers from other countries. Indeed, it's called informally Davos for Central Bankers. And it is the, confer the annual conference of the Kansas City uh, Federal Reserve Bank. Uh, so uh, we're talking from the... Uh, with ordered. Okay, well, central bankers are converging, but the real focus seems to be on the U.S. Fed with Fed Chairwoman Janet Yellen speaking on Friday morning. Now, William, the last Fed minutes showed that some members think that a rate hike, quote, would be soon warranted. The word soon there, very important. So what are you expecting from the speech? Uh, more of the mumble. Um, so this was, of course, made uh, famous by Alan Greenspan. Uh, that you're not supposed to signal much of uh, anything uh, in what you say live. What you were just uh, quoting from or paraphrasing is that uh, it's only a month later that these minutes are made public, uh, and that's quite uh, deliberate. And so when they're speaking live and people are listening, uh, they usually don't say very much. So do you anticipate... Uh, Yellen saying anything to indicate that a rate hike is going to be on the agenda in September or December? Uh, we expect that she's going to continue to say what she's been saying, which is that they are hopeful uh, that they uh, will be, the world economy will be in shape to have modest, slow increases in the Fed rate soon. All right, so we and investors will then dissect every word of her statement for clues on any possible action. Now, William, in terms of the world at large, what issues are going to be dominating the agenda at this symposium? Well, the uh, phrase, the, every year they have a theme. This one is resilience um, in future planning of the monetary system. Uh, obviously, that's a deliberately vague uh, word. Uh, but what they're all scared about, uh, and when I say they, I mean the central, major central banks, is that they have inflation targets that they're supposed to meet, and they have failed to meet those inflation targets typically for around five years. And that's a very scary thing, it means that monetary policy is not working in the way that they think, and they believe that deflation is very dangerous, and they believe that they are too close to uh, deflation. Uh, and that's why the theme of, which this is after all a research conference, where they want ideas about what's gone wrong and how can they uh, monitor. Well, many people argue that central bankers are proving to be irrelevant in the sense that their policies have not actually worked to stimulate the economy, certainly where they've cut to negative interest rates. What do you say about that? Well, there's a long history. If you go back uh, to uh, uh, 2007, uh, they held the conference on the housing market, which, of course, had just blown up. Uh, if you go to 2008, they held it uh, on uh, financial system and stability. And the financial system, within two months of their conference, uh, was blowing up entirely with Lehman Brothers. Uh, so they, they don't have a very good track record in economics that uh, monetary policy works very uh, much at all in the way that they uh, predict that it will work. Uh, and that, again, that's why you get, look for better models than they've been using. All right, well, let's talk about uh, some of the sideline action. And we do have protesters gathering the uh, Fed Up Coalition. They're meeting with several Fed officials. What do you expect to come out of that, if anything? Well, well first, the, the major sideline um, activity and the reason this conference is so important globally uh, is this is one of the most beautiful places in the world uh, that has hiking trails that are absolutely gorgeous. And what happens is the key heads of the central bank and their top economists 
go out on these trails where no one's around and it's informal and they just let down their guard and they talk. So that's the big thing that happens. In terms of ACT UP, what you're seeing is that Janet Yellen is a much better leader slash uh, public relations type uh, than her predecessors uh, who just hated groups uh, like Fed Up. So she organized meetings with them to, it's to, described as a listening session uh, and such, um, and it helps to diffuse some of these tensions. Whether it actually produces any change in policy is very unlikely. As you say, all the action goes on behind the scenes. All right, thanks so much. William Black, Associate Economics and Law Professor at the University of Missouri, Kansas City.